Hey, this is Brett, kind of showing you what I do when I'm out looking at homes and this, I'm looking at both income properties and uh, flip properties today, so this will be a montage of videos, the ones I'm looking at if you want to see how I look at stuff. Um, this particular house has a newer roof on it, it's a 3D dimensional type roof, but it's pretty new. Newer windows and uh, the driveway is in good condition too. Nice garage. I'm always want to look. The AC looks a little used there, and then I always want to make sure that they have a footer, which they do, on this garage right there. So it's important. It's a newer garage. Let's go inside. It's 1189 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house, and I believe it has a finished basement. The kitchen, which is. Uh, you know, it's an important part of it, so um, we'd have to redo some of this. It does have gas. You have to redesign it. Cabinets aren't bad, though. These are nice cabinets, so I would try and keep them if I could. This is kind of a quartz deal. <laughs> Living room. <laughs> Wallpaper, which will have to go. Recess lighting. Nothing major on this one because it's a $140,000, $150,000 house. And then you can go back here to the bedrooms. One thing uh, in the bathroom, you know, it needs redone. Maybe a new vanity, get rid of this paint, new, obviously new lights, keep the tub, spray it, you know, shower fixtures, and maybe a um, toilet. Nothing major. In these bedrooms, what I did notice in these bedrooms is you've got really nice pristine wood right there. That's real wood, that's oak. So they're on all in all the bedrooms are probably right here in this um, hallway. So I would keep those. There, there it is again. So I get rid of the wallpaper. These are basically paint, lights, and you've already got the flooring. So that's going to save you a lot of money. That looks in really good condition. Newer windows. Again, nice sized bedrooms. <clears throat> I'm looking for that second ba bathroom. So that must be downstairs, I'm thinking. Let's go down here in the basement. And uh, here's the finished part, one of them. Again, we're gonna have to get rid of that. And all this sheetrock and make it usable. Already has all the lighting in, which is nice. Put some new flooring in. Um, here's another bedroom. Well, it's another room, let's put it that way. Low ceilings though, so. Not a big selling factor. Let's go back here. So this is all just basement. The walls are all good. I'm checking those as I walk through. Um, the heater probably needs replaced. Let me see if this is the... Yeah, here's the other bathroom. So here's the other bathroom. So that's gonna have to, this is all going to have to be completely redone. But it is a second bathroom. It's got a sump pump in it, which... Uh, does have a battery backup. It looks like it's in pretty good, good shape. All the plumbing's in good shape. So, you know, I'm going through this looking and, you know, basing it on the price and what they're asking and uh, making sure that, you know, we can get a good deal out of it. And that's the key. When you're looking at stuff like this, you want to make sure you know the fix up. And uh, so basically this needs paint, flooring. It doesn't need anything major. Maybe the heater, definitely the air conditioner, um, flooring, paint. Minimal stuff, and you're going to get somewhere between 140 and 150 for this house, and that you know that's huge. I mean, that's that, you know if you get it for the right price, they sell very quickly in here, very highly. Hey, this is Brett again, uh, going through another. Uh, this is actually an income property. This is in a nice area, as you can see. All these all have one car garages. This is a two bedroom, uh, <clears throat> one and a half bath. This particular property will get $1,200 a month after property management, insurance, and taxes. It will get right at um, $700 a month, and it'll stay rented. Very quality area, good long-term tenants. Just a nice unit that you can, uh, it's got new carpet in it. It's been painted, and uh, they're asking $70,000 for it. That's pretty, pretty reasonable. So as you can see, it's a two bedroom, two large bedrooms, and then it has a kitchen, a living room, fireplace, 
and a half bath downstairs and a one car garage. Do the numbers. This is an excellent opportunity to uh, get into the real estate uh, at a really reasonable price. 12 of these will make you over 100,000 bucks a year. So that's what you want to think about when you're looking at this kind of stuff. So give Brett a call. I'm with Century 21, 216-703-5740, 216-703-5740, looking at properties. This is what we do, and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks.